with work tips, advanced roofing. We've got two flitch beam steels going in and three 9 2 timbers. And we're going to do it in sections of five meters. Now we've got the new build and the old build. So what I want to do is, I want to work out where my ridge is going to go and a pair. There's a few things to take into consideration. One, the building changes various points. So if the building's wider, you keep the same pitch, you're taking the ridge higher, but obviously if it's narrower, the ridge comes down. So what you can do is you can change the pitch and keep the heights the same. So you've got a way up whether it's a less steeper or if it's a higher but steeper pitch and how that looks, or maybe you split the difference. So you've got the choice of changing the pitch to suit the level of the ridge or the ridge can go. So what I've done is here, I've put a string line through from plate to plate and I've measured up to the top of where my ridge is going to go and when I go to the other end I do the same and that'll keep that level all the way through so that'll work better for the roofers um, and I'll change pitch slightly at the other end. Good work tips, I hope it helps. Um, other factors to take into consideration is you don't want to get another pair in here and assume this is the centre because the building's out and then you get kicks all the way through your ridge. So what I would do is, once I've got a pin line all the way through from ridge to ridge, I would drop a line through, like a plumb line, level, then I'll measure out to my plate and I can see the distance and whether I work it out on an app um, instead of spans and pitches, I can work it out of spans and rises to get my pitch. Or, I can just make up for the floor. But either way, as long as they're positioned correctly, so that works to the line, that will work out well consistent. Good work tips, I hope it helps.